and I was living with my brother, a former Marine. He was uh, K Company, 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, and he fought in Vietnam. He was uh, decorated, and wounded, and uh, came home. And there was a change. There was a significant change in his in his uh, his demeanor, his sense of living. And uh, we were sharing an apartment at the same time. And he said, "Peter, where are you going?" I said, "I'm going to an audition, Larry." He said, "What are you going to audition for, Peter?" I said, "Going to be a uh, a truck." He started to laugh. I started to laugh. And I said, "But Larry, he's a hero, a hero truck." And he he looked at me and said, okay, a hero. Well, if you're going to be a hero, Peter, be a real hero. Don't be one of those pretend Hollywood heroes, always yelling and uh, acting tough and, uh, you know, be a real hero. His voice got very low and um, there was a seriousness in him. And the way he talked, there was a, a gentle and a a smoothness to it and he said if you're going to be a hero Peter remember be strong enough to be gentle be compassionate you know be understanding don't go yelling and screaming it's the way he said it and when I got to the audition not very long probably about 20 minutes after that conversation I read the breakdown and I read the lines and uh it was my time to start speaking and that influence that he had on me his his voice it's the way he, he had said what he had said just rolled out of me just came rolling out of my and it felt so comfortable felt so good by the time it was all over and I was driving away I had this warm feeling that I, I just did the best audition I've ever done in my life and so my brother Larry was directly responsible for that and uh, for that I'm forever grateful.